University Challenge. Asking the questions, Amol Roger. Hello and welcome to University Challenge. Every team in this year's competition has now played once and the 14 that won are safely through to round two. Tonight, however, we're throwing a lifeline to two of the first round's highest scoring losing teams. If they can win at the second time of asking, they'll enter the draw for round two, but lose again, and this time it really will be the end of the road. In the very first match of the series, Trinity College Cambridge faced the University of Manchester, and with three minutes to go until the gong had what looked like a fairly comfortable lead. Manchester had other ideas and scored 50 points without reply to take the game to a tie-break, which they won. Trinity nevertheless ended the match on a very impressive 175 points thanks to quick buzzes on George Barkley and Menelik I and full houses on both the picture and music rounds. Let's meet them for the second time. Hi there, I'm Sarah Henderson, I'm from North London and I'm studying Japanese. Hi, I'm Agnijo Banerjee, I'm from Dundee and I'm studying for a PhD in maths. And their captain? Hi, I'm Ryan Chunsok Kang, I'm originally from Seoul, South Korea and I'm doing a PhD in organic chemistry. Hi, I'm Jeremy Jakšina, I'm from Białystok, Poland, and I'm doing Masters in Genetics. The University of Southampton drew Christchurch, Oxford as their first opponents, and after a false start in question one, they managed to keep their noses ahead of the Oxfordians right up until the end of the music round. Christchurch then took six of the next seven starters, and although Southampton rallied impressively in the final couple of minutes, the damage had already been done. They still finished on a competitive 155 points, thanks to their knowledge of pop music, contemporary science and cereal crops. Let's meet them again. My name is Elise Harrington. I'm from Vancouver, Canada, and I'm doing a PhD in geochemistry. Hi, I'm Rhys Council from Bangor, Northern Ireland, and I'm doing a PhD in neutron star physics. And their captain? Hello, I'm Roshana Okrama Singer. I'm from Watford in Hertfordshire and I'm studying for a PhD in education. Hi, I'm Chris Meredith. I'm from Horsham in West Sussex and I'm studying for a BSc in mathematics. Welcome back to all of you. It's been a little while since you played, so let me just remind you of the rules. Starter questions must be answered on the buzzer without conferring. If you get one right, you earn your team 10 points and a set of bonus questions on which you can confer. If you get a starter question wrong, well, your opponents get a free shot, and if you interrupt incorrectly, you also lose five points. Fingers on buzzers, then. Here is your first starter for ten. I need a two-word term here. Martensitic, austenitic and ferritic are types of what resistant material... Trinity can. Stainless steel. It is stainless steel, yes. <laughs> your bonuses, Trinity, are on notable fashion designers. Name each one from the description. First, an Italian fashion designer born in 1890, known for collaborations with Salvador Dali and Jean Cocteau. She included surrealist elements in her designs, including the telephone purse and the skeleton dress. Elsa Schiparelli. Yeah, nomine Yakshina. Elsa Schiparelli. Correct. Second, the Japanese avant-garde designer who founded Comme de Garçons. She's known for unsized designs in black and grey, which inspired the name The Crows for her followers. You know this. <gasps> Uh, Kusuma? Yeah, uh, Kusuma. No, it's Kawakubo. Finally, a British designer whose early designs appeared in her London boutique, Sex, in the 1970s. Yes, yes, in 1989, she appeared on the cover of Tatler, dressed as Margaret Thatcher, with the caption, This woman was once a punk. It must be Vivian Westwood. Yeah, uh, Vivian Westwood. It must be Vivian Westwood, that's right, yeah. Another starter question. In the context of literary history, the terms Generation of 1898 and Generation of 1920s... <laughs> Trinity Yakshina. Spain? Spain is correct, yeah. Well done. <laughs> Your bonuses then, Trinity, are questions on tennis tournaments. Formerly known as the Fed Cup, the premier international team competition in women's tennis was renamed in 2020 in honour of which US tennis player who won 20 Wimbledon titles in the 1960s and 70s? Billie Jean King? Yes. Yeah, OK. Billie Jean King? It was Billie Jean King. The United Cup is an international hard-court tennis tournament featuring mixed-gender teams and marks the lead-up to which Grand Slam tournament? Uh, did we did have... they say a time of year? No, I don't think they did. So we only have four to guess from, right? Yeah. Guess which one do you want to guess? We already had Wimbledon, so, so do you want to guess something else? US Open? Try no, no, we've had oh, no, that wouldn't make much sense. French? Try French Open. French Open? Bad luck, it's the Australian Open. <laughs> in September 2022, Roger Federer played his last professional match in a tournament that pits Europe against the rest of the world. It's named after which Australian who achieved a calendar Grand Slam twice in the 1960s? Rod Laver, I think. Nominate Henderson. Rod Laver? It was Rod Laver, yes, well done. 
Let's start the question then. In 2018, Seguin Akinola took over from Murray Gold as lead composer and music director on which... Trinity Henderson. Doctor Who? It is Doctor Who, yeah. <laughs> Your bonuses, Trinity, are questions on multilateral military operations in Africa. In 1998, a multilateral West African force intervened in the civil war in which country northwest of Liberia, restoring the government of Ahmad Tejan Kaba? In Sierra Leone's not northwest of Liberia, right? No. Okay. Yeah. Sierra Leone. Correct. Begun in 2003, the first peacekeeping initiative undertaken by the African Union was AMIB. That's A M I B, the African Union mission in which East African country? AMIB. Do we have anything so, there? So before you country being with B, do Burundi? you think? Burundi. Makes yeah, sense, yeah, Burundi. Burundi is correct. Launched in 2013, AFISMA is the African-led international support mission in which country? Tuareg fighters in the north of this country had attempted to form a breakaway state known as Azawad. Mali? It was a FINBA, right? Or was it a FISBA? Mali. OK, let's go with Mali. Mali. Mali is correct. Let us start the question. The avant-garde composer, George Ligeti's 1962 work, Poem Symphonique, Created during his association with the artistic community Fluxus, requires 100 of what item? Patented in 1815 by Johann Malzell. Set at differing speeds, they are left to run down until only one remains. Trinity Henderson. Metronome. Metronomes is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses then are three questions on electrical components. Shot key and zener are among types of what electrical component which allows current to flow in one direction only? Diode. Correct. Consisting of two surfaces separated by an insulator, what electrical component allows for storage of energy in the field produced between the two charged surfaces? Uh, capacitor. Correct. Useful as a sensor, what component has a strong relationship between external temperature and the resistance of the component? Therm thermistor. Yeah. Thermistor. Thermistor is correct, yeah. <laughs> Many times I've to see if we can get going with this picture starter then. For your picture starter, you're going to see a map of East Asia. For 10 points, name the major river on which the marked location lies. Southampton Meredith. Yangtze. It is the Yangtze River, yeah. <laughs> Your picture starter showed the location of the Three Gorges Dam on the Yangtze River, the world's largest hydroelectric power station in terms of installed generating capacity. Your bonuses will show the locations of three more of the world's largest hydroelectric power stations. Again, in each case, I just need the name of the river on which the power station is located. First? Mm -hmm. oh. Is that Washington? Is that Columbia? Columbia? No. Columbia? Columbia. Columbia? Yeah. The Columbia? Correct. Secondly? Uh, would that be Paraná, maybe? Or is yeah. it Paraguay? Paraná. Uh, okay. Is that the Paraná River? Oh, the Paraná, yeah. Can I nominate you? Yeah. Nominate Meredith? Paraná. Correct. And finally? No. I don't even know what country that is. It's Russia. Russia. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, something like um, Yenisei, maybe. Can I, I know the Yen yeah. I know the Yenisei goes out from Lake Baikal, but does it go that far? Um, I'm not sure. Come on. OK, nominate Meredith. Yenisei. It's correct, yeah, well done. Well done. Here's your next uh, start question, then. In mathematics, what six-letter word has all of the following meanings? On a plane curve, a point at which the first derivative of curvature is zero. In graph theory, a synonym for node. And on a... <laughs> Trinity Banerjee. Vertex. Vertex is correct, yeah. Your bonuses then, Trinity, are three questions on the influence of a literary work. Olga Tokarczuk's 2008 novel, Drive Your Plough Over the Bones of the Dead, takes its title from The Marriage of Heaven and Hell, a synthesis of verse, prose and proverb by which poet born in London in 1757? It's Blake. It's Blake, yeah. Blake? It was Blake. Second, a direct response to Blake's marriage, The Great Divorce is a 1945 theological novel by which British author? The novel is in the form of an allegorical dream vision in which the narrator travels by bus between towns representing hell and heaven. Oh, I feel like I've, I feel like I've heard of this, but... like the guys were around you back then, like C.S. Lewis? Yeah, I think I'm going to C.S. Lewis? It is C.S. Lewis, yes. Which British composer's 1965 song cycle, Songs and Proverbs of William Blake, includes settings of several sections from The Marriage of Heaven and Hell, selected by his partner, Peter Pears? Um, Britain, then. Yeah, Britain. It is Benjamin Britain, yes. <laughs> Another start question now. The biologist Gunter Blobel donated the $960,000 awarded to him with a 1999 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine to the restoration of key buildings in which German city that he had passed through as a child in 1945? <laughs> Trinity Banerjee. Dresden. It was Dresden, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses then are three questions on the actor Ray Liotta, 
The Otter played the part of real-life baseball player Shoeless Joe Jackson in which 1989 film? It was nominated for the Oscar for Best Picture the following year. Um, any baseball... <sighs> Pass. It's Field of Dreams. Okay. Second, in which 2019 film by Noah Baumbach did Liotta play a brash divorce lawyer alongside Scarlett Johansson and Adam Driver? This is a marriage story, right? Is that, is that the name of the thing, though? Don't marriage story. It is marriage story. In a 1990 Martin Scorsese film based on the life of Henry Hill, Liotta delivers the line, as far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a what? As a gangster or something? Because he does become a yeah, gangster, right? Gangster. gangster. It was gangster from Goodfellas, yeah. That's it. Another starter question then. The Animal Life Encyclopedia describes which order of insects as follows. Generally large, females usually are larger than males, sometimes twice their size. Flexible neck muscles allow them to turn their heads a full 180 degrees. They are perhaps best known for their raptorial forelegs, which they use to capture live prey. Trinity Kang. Uh, mantis prey? Yes, mantises, I'll accept that. <laughs> Your three bonuses, Trinity, are on a philosopher. Authority in the Individual is the title of the inaugural series of the BBC's Wreath Lectures, given by which philosopher in 1948? Is that like Wittgenstein? Does that, does that make sense? Or? He's around then. I think yeah. you know that because there is a similar work titled like this. Who wrote it? Oh, authority. Wait, who are you pointing to? Sarah? Or... I'm not sure. No, never mind. Um, okay, Wittgenstein. Come on. It was Bertrand Russell, oh, my, my hero. <laughs> Secondly, with which of his former tutors did Russell write the groundbreaking three volume work Principia Mathematica, published between 1910 and 1913? Whitehead, Whitehead, right? Whitehead. Yeah, yeah, Whitehead. It was Alfred North Whitehead, yeah. And in 1958, Russell became one of the founder members of which organisation opposing the possession and use of nuclear weapons? Pugwash. Yeah. Uh, Nomina Yakshina. Pugwash. Bad luck. Pugwash was founded earlier. It was, in fact, the CND, the Campaign for Nuclear Disarmament. Another start of question. Plenty of time, so let's see if we can get going again with this. Differing from a negative externality, in that it personally affects the consumer as well as the wider public good, what term in economics refers to a good or product that will be overconsumed if left to the market, despite it being bad for the consumer? Examples include sugary drinks or junk food. No, nope, I'll tell you. It's a demerit good. Another start of question. With 357 goals, who is the all-time highest goal scorer in the history of English top flight? Southampton Council. Jimmy Greaves. It is Jimmy Greaves, yeah. <laughs> Your bonuses then, Southampton, are on words that share their last three letters with the names of Middle Eastern capitals. For example, Aloha and Doha. In each case, give the word from the description. First, a form of therapy in which individuals acquire insight into themselves by acting out situations from their past with other group members. The last three letters of this term are the same as those of the capital of Bahrain. Manama. Manama. Is that something in Indian? AMA. AMA. Um, Schema. Try that. No, that doesn't no, end do in AMA. Uh, no. 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 OK. Schema. You're right, it doesn't end in AMA. You're halfway there. It's psychodrama. Psychodrama. Secondly, a form of cabbage grown for its edible enlarged stem whose flesh resembles a turnip. Its last three letters are the same as those of the capital of the United Arab Emirates. Abu Dhabi, so... Kohlrabi. Kohlrabi. Kohlrabi? It is Kohlrabi, well done. And finally, Mustela putorius, a small carnivore also known as the Fowl Martin. It shares its last three letters with the capital of Oman. I mean, Muscat, so... Oh, yeah. Maybe. Polkat, yeah. yeah. Polkat. Polkat's correct, yeah, well done. <laughs> uh, music starter now. For your music starter, you're going to hear a piece of classical music. For ten points, simply name the composer. <laughs> Southampton Wick from a singer. Handel. No. <laughs> Trinity Henderson. Vivaldi. No, I can see your entire team looking at you there in, in, in expectation, which is a bit unfair. No, it was Bach. Uh, we'll take your music bonuses in a moment when you get the next star to write. Here it is. Meanings of what five-letter word include a mountain formed by natural faults in the Earth's crust, a piece of wood or metal engraved for printing, a group of transactions in cryptocurrency, and in the periodic table, a set of adjacent groups, for example, P, D and F. Trinity Banerjee. Block. Block is correct, yes. You 
did hear uh, a bit of Brandenburg Concerto Number no. 3 by J.S. Bach, who spent a significant part of his uh, composing life in the German city of Weimar. Your music bonuses, then, Trinity, are three more composers associated with Weimar, though not necessarily German. Five points for each you can identify. First, this Central European composer. Some like water. I don't think it is. Tried. No, I know this. Um, it's famous. Oh, God, who it is? Oh. I'm drawing a blank. Oh, sorry. Um, Come on. Tried Vorjak, it's not. Vorjak. No, it's List. Uh, he uh, lived and worked there for many years. That was his Hungarian Rhapsody yeah. number two. <laughs> Um, as you, I think you knew. Uh, another Central European composer now. What's the famous one? Like Hummel. It's not Haydn, so it's quite Okay. Hummel? Hummel? It is Hummel, yes. Very good. He was Kapellmeister at Weimar from 1819. That was his trumpet concerto in E major. Finally, this composer. Oh, so this is Strauss, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Richard Strauss. It was, yes, exactly. He was appointed conductor of the Weimar Court Orchestra in 1889, and that was his Also Sprach Zarathustra. Another starter question then. Listen carefully. The surnames of the authors of the novels Brick Lane and White Teeth together form the name of which other writer? Herself the author of The Accident. Southampton Wick Rammer Singer. Ali Smith. It is Ali Smith, yeah. <laughs> Your bonus is in Southampton. Three questions on thermodynamic cycles. The four phases of which idealised cycle consist of an isothermal expansion, isentropic expansion, isothermal compression and isentropic compression? It begins with F. It's it begins the... with F. Um, say Furrier, that is wrong. Say what? Come on, guys. Furrier, that is wrong. Nominate council. Furrier. No, oh, it's the Carnot cycle. Next, similar to the Carnot cycle, which ideal thermodynamic cycle exchanges the isentropic compression and expansion with constant volume heating and cooling steps? Are we still in the second year? I, I, I don't know this one. Um, Can you name any, uh, any cycle? Haber. Haber? Yeah. Haber? No, it's a Stirling cycle. Finally, used in spark plug driven internal combustion engines, which four phase cycle is Otto. named after the first engineer to develop a practical Otto. example Otto. of such an engine? Otto. Otto? Yeah. Otto? Otto is correct. Yes, well done. <laughs> now, let's start the question now. Exploiting the emission spectra of individual elements, which chemical analysis method used to investigate for the presence of metal ions produces a green result if barium is present, shows brick red for calcium, and lilac for potassium? Southampton Council. Flame test? It is the flame test. Yes, well done. <laughs> Your bonuses, Southampton, are on picaresque novels. First published in 1842, which picaresque novel follows Pavel Chichikov, a former civil servant, as he takes advantage of a tax loophole in order to make his fortune? It is frequently seen as a masterpiece of absurdist comedy. I think I've read that. I think it's Gogol. He does weird stuff, Trevor. It's either the nose or the overcoat, maybe. You want... Pardon? Oh, we want the names then. Yeah. <laughs> The overcoat. Bad luck. It is Gogol. It's Dead Souls. Unlucky. Second, described by Coleridge as having one of the three great plots of all literature, which 1749 novel follows its eponymous hero from Somerset to Bristol to London, where there is an attempt to press gang him into the Navy? Tristram Shandy. People like that one. Yeah, sure. It's quite famous. Yeah. Tristram Shandy. No, it's Tom Jones. Finally, subtitled A Novel Without a Hero, which novel of the 1840s follows the adventures of a penniless orphan at the time of the Napoleonic Wars? It takes its title from an allegory by John Bunyan. Vanity Fair? Yeah. Yeah? Vanity Fair? Mm. Vanity Fair? That is Vanity Fair by Thackeray, yes. <laughs> Got to start the question now. In physics, what three-word term indicates the form of movement that occurs when a body undergoes an acceleration that is directly proportional to its displacement from an equilibrium... <laughs> Trinity Banerjee. Simple harmonic motion. It is simple harmonic motion, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses, Trinity, are on pairs of words that differ only by the addition of a final letter Y. For instance, arm and army. In each case, give both words from the definition. A British river whose tributaries include the team and the stour 
and a large island of Russia, part of Norvaya Zemlya. Um, can you think of Russian things? Do we have any rivers? Like, where, where is the Stour? I have no idea where the Stour is. Um, do you just give me any river, then. Just give me a river. Come on. Uh, Trent and Trenty. That was ambitious. No, it's a seven and a seventy. In mathematics, an integer that divides another integer with no remainder and the name given by Andy Warhol to his New York City studio. Factor and factory. Factor and factory. Much better, yes. A stringed instrument whose performers include Lavinia, Maya and Dorothy Ashby and a half-bird, half-human creature from Greek mythology. Harp and harpy? Harp. Yeah. yeah, harp and harpy. It is harp and harpy, yes, well done. <laughs> Picture starter now. For your picture starter, you're going to see a photograph of a scientist. For 10 points, simply give me their name. Southampton Wick for Emma Singer. Dorothy Hodgkin. No. Trinity Yegshina. Franklin. Yes, it is Franklin. I accept that. It's Rosalind Franklin. Yeah, well done. For your picture starter, you saw a photograph of Rosalind Franklin. Her X ray diffraction images provided key evidence for the discovery of the DNA molecule for which her colleagues Crick, Watson, and Wilkins won the 1962 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. For your picture bonuses, you'll see three more photos of female scientists who significantly contributed to work for which their male collaborators won Nobel Prizes. Five points for each you can name. First, this Austrian scientist. Meitner? Yeah, this is Meitner. Yeah, Meitner. Correct, yeah. Her collaborator, Otto Hahn, won the 1944 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for their work on nuclear fission. Secondly, this Chinese-American physicist. Wu, right, yeah. yeah. Wu. Correct. Her experiment proving the existence of parity violation won the 1957 Physics Nobel for theorists Tsung Dao Li and Chen Ning Yang. And finally... Oh, is this not Jocelyn Bell? Yeah. yeah. Jocelyn... Bell Burnell. Yeah, Jocelyn Bell Burnell. It is Burnell, yes, and her PhD supervisor, Anthony Hewish, shared the 1974 Physics Nobel with Martin Ryle, partly due to their work on pulsars, which she had discovered. Another starter question. An invitation to a birthday party written around the year 100 by Claudia Severa and sent to Sulpicia Lepidina is one of a collection of hundreds of wooden tablets found at which Roman site near Hadrian's Wall in Northumberland? Trinity Banerjee. Vindolanda. It is Vindolanda, yes. <laughs> Your three bonuses, then, are on religious denominations. Which religious denomination in the UK was split by the disruption of 1843 a dispute over state control in appointing ministers. I need its full three-word name. We have anything. <sighs> no, sorry, pass. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Church of Scotland. Second, which candidate in the 2023 Scottish National Party leadership election came under scrutiny because of her membership of the socially conservative Free Church of Scotland? Kate yeah. Forbes. Kate Forbes. It is Kate Forbes, yeah. Meaning pertaining to bishops, what word appears in the name of the Scottish church that is a member of the Anglican Communion? Episcopalian? Yes. Episcopalian. No, I'm afraid I can't accept that. The right answer is Episcopal. Okay. And I have to take that because that's in the full name of the church. It's the Scottish Episcopal Church. OK, another starter question now. In the names of political groupings, what adjective links all of these? Opponents of Gladstone's Irish settlement in the 1880s, the full name of the UK Conservative Party and the governing party in Northern Ireland... From the... Trinity Banerjee. Unionist. It is the Unionist, yeah. <laughs> Three questions then for you, Trinity, on the American Civil War. On the basis of a quotation attributed to Barnard E.B., which Confederate general became known as Stonewall because of the way he resisted Union attacks? Jackson. Correct. Jackson earned the nickname Stonewall following his actions at which battle in Virginia in 1861, the first major engagement of the Civil War? I, I guess Chancellorsville. Chancellor. I, I Chancellorsville, I'd guess. But... Oh, I'll just nominate you. Yeah. Nominate Banerjee. Chancellorsville? No, it's the first battle of the Bull Run. Taking its title from words attributed to Jackson shortly before his death in 1863, Across the River Into the Trees is a 1950 novel by which US author? US authors from that time, do we? Could be most people. Just, just give me a name. Louise. Louise, OK. Yeah. Louise. No, it's Hemingway. Oh, uh, taken no. from Jackson's dying words. OK, another start of the question now. Identify the poet who wrote these lines. Midwinter spring is its own season, sempiternal though sodden towards sundown. They begin a 1942 work inspired by a church in Huntingdonshire. 
Southampton, Wick from a singer. Elliot. It is Elliot from Little Gidding, one of the four quartets. Your three questions in Southampton are on rediscovered mammals. Rediscovered in Western China in 2014, the Illipika is a small rodent-like mammal related to which common British herbivores? A British herbivore. There are many. Pardon? Hedgehogs. Hedgehogs. I have no idea. Are they herbivores? Oh, no, they eat insects, don't they? Like, a, like a vole? Oh, yeah. Vole, yeah. Vole. Bad, like, it's a rabbit in hair. <laughs> Slightly smaller than a rabbit, Gilbert's potteroo was rediscovered in the 1990s in Western Australia. It belongs to a loose group of mammals known by what two-word name after a common rodent and a much larger marsupial? Like a something kangaroo. Something kangaroo. Uh, something like a kangaroo that. rat, that's a thing. That's it, yeah. yeah, a kangaroo rat. Or was it a rat kangaroo? I'm so sorry, but we can't accept that. A kangaroo rat is actually a separate and distinct species. The correct answer is rat kangaroo. I'm sorry. Finally, rediscovered in 1987 on the borders of Nigeria and Cameroon, the Cross River is an endangered subspecies of which large primate closely related to humans? Bonobo, maybe. Bonobo? Yeah. A couple of that. Is it closely? Yeah. Bonobo? No, it's a gorilla. Another starter question. Known binomially as curcuma longa, what spice related to ginger may be used as a test for alkalinity and as a textile dye? Ah. Southampton Harrington. Turmeric. Turmeric is correct, yes. Your bonus is on Talanta. Three questions on books written in the genre of magical realism. In each case, I want you to give the title of the novel from the description. First, a 2001 novel by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. It centers on Daniel Semperes' obsession with the lost works of Julian Carax. The Shadow of the Wind? The Shadow of the Wind is correct, yes. A 1989 novel by Laura Esquivel, centering on youngest daughter Tita Like Della... Water for Chocolate? Like Water for Chocolate is correct, well done. A 1967 novel described by the critic Michael Wood as perhaps the most important landmark of the so-called boom in contemporary Latin American fiction. 100 Years of Solitude? It is, well done. <laughs> well, the start of question. Which three consecutive letters of the alphabet begin the names of the currencies, respectively, of Ethiopia, Ghana and Algeria? Southampton Meredith. B, C, D. B, C, D is correct. Your bonuses are three questions on paintings completed in 1873. First, which Scottish essayist and historian is depicted in a portrait by James Whistler completed in 1873? Titled Arrangement in Grey and Black Number Two. It is similar in composition to Whistler's 1871 portrait of his mother. Scottish essayist. No. no. Oh, mm. Hume. <laughs> Thomas Carlyle. A critique of labour exploitation, a major work. <laughs> and at the goal, we sell out to the University of 120, and Trinity came with a 245. <laughs> My goodness, guys, bad luck. I mean, it just, it never quite got going. You're unbelievably impressive on magical realism. <laughs> it's been an absolute joy having you. Thank we're you. Not, we're not going to see you and your wonderful mascot again. <laughs> Have you had a good time? Yeah, yeah. I've been a good time. Yeah. Well, you did incredibly well, and you're hugely impressive. Well done. Trinity. There was a point in that process where I heard one of you, was it you, Ryan Kang, muttered, let's get to 250. And I <laughs> thought, you arrogant, but you <laughs> nearly did. And that is an absolutely phenomenal performance. You must be thrilled. You happy? Yeah. 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 Slightly more straightforward process than last time. Yeah. <laughs> and massive relief. Well, we look forward to seeing you again. I hope you can join us next time for another repechage match. But until then, it's goodbye from the University of Southampton. Goodbye. Yeah. goodbye. It's goodbye from Trinity College, Cambridge. Goodbye. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.